All right, guys, we are back with the Verdun North American Championships for 2017. Uh, today we have Pest Control taking on SMW, uh, a team with a very eclectic background. Soren, uh, you know, fill us in a little bit on on uh, where these guys come from and, and uh, how they came to be. Well, SMW obviously uh, missed their semifinal match last night, but it's understandable because they have players from all over the world. Really, they have some North American players. They have some South American players. I think they might have one or two players from Europe. So basically, their their team is, is kind of spread out over a lot of different time zones, which understandably can make it uh, difficult for them to schedule things. And after having a discussion with them about the uh, missed match last night, uh, we were able to agree with them to play this semifinal today. Um, so hopefully we can get it uh, played now and uh, not delay the schedule too much. Um, obviously PC, just a powerhouse of a team, having won the VCL Season 1. Um, a lot of these players are championship players. Uh, I think if I'm going down this list, I believe Zab, Meeks, Nordmon, and, and Voltaire all have championship titles under their belt. Uh, Samnix, I believe, might as well. I'm not entirely sure about that one. But definitely all very accomplished players within the scene. Uh, and just to fill in our viewers, right now we are actually watching the uh, the pregame warm-up at the moment. We are not live on the match quite yet. Um, but, uh, Soren, I did want to ask you, you know, uh, we, we are going to have some of those marquee players from the Verdun community uh, playing in this game. Of course, uh, Zab. Um, we have Meeks, who joined us yesterday in the broadcast. Uh, we've also uh, al also got um, uh, who was with us yesterday? Nordmanen. Uh, Nordmanen, thank you. Uh, Nordmanen, uh, also going to be able to get on the field today. Um, what can we expect from these high-level players? Well, we can definitely expect to see a similar to performance from them as to what we saw from 1E yesterday. They're definitely on the same skill level as that team. Uh, most of these players, some of them are even higher, obviously, players like Zab, definitely uh, considered to be the best player in the world right now uh, in the entire game. That's both North America and Europe con uh, considered. Um, other very good players include Tyler, kind of an up-and-coming player, started playing the last six months competitively. Very, very good. Um, Posh Brother, a Mexican player who originally played on the Latin America team but was spotted by PC as being, you know, kind of a rising talent and brought onto that team. Um, Comrade Bravo, also a player who's been around for a long time but really never uh, stepped up in the competitive scene until recently, and this is his first time on a kind of a top-tier team. And it's interesting to see the difference... Because Comrade Bravo was always a good player, but he's always on those second-tier teams. But moving a good player from a second-tier team up to that first-tier team, it kind of puts them on a new level. Uh, it, it really elevates them as a player, and he's definitely gotten a lot better in the last uh, couple of months. So it'll be interesting to see how he performs. Uh, PC playing a team that uh, might be a little more experienced than uh, than Cuck, especially in, uh, in competitive play. Um, we know that 1E really took it to Cuck yesterday. Um... Do you uh, do you do you think there's any chance uh, that we actually see a captured trench uh, this time from the SMW side? There's definitely a small chance of it. They are a scrappy team, and they they're a team that have definitely played PC multiple times in the past. Um, so they are going to be somewhat aware of PC's tactics and how they like to play. The question is going to be: Are they capable of countering that? And even if they come up with a good strategy for counting countering that they're going to have to up their skill level to try and you know at least kind of match pc on the individual skill level to uh to have any chance of getting some captures uh looks like we might be having some roster issues right now <laughs> smw having 10 players although maybe that's for the best yeah um seems like they're trying to probably make a decision about who they uh about who they're going to run in their team I think is probably the uh, struggle they're working with, which considering they had no one show up last night um, is a good change of pace <laughs> Right, right. maybe they're, they might be overcompensating a little, 8 was plenty uh, so we are live now uh, is that is that correct, Soren? Um, no, we're still waiting for uh, some of these players to leave I believe. Is, we're still incorrect. getting started, yeah okay we're just about to get started. We're just waiting for Leo back, I believe, to leave. <laughs> the Venus memes have begun. Uh, sure, we'll be seeing uh, plenty more of those. 
who uh, who are the who are the standout players on SMW? I, I honestly remember them having a much more balanced approach than uh, than even Cuck, who had uh, uh, Dragonkin and and uh, Pie was a Pie Picker or something like that. Uh, uh, pie uh, I, Jacker, I believe. Yeah, Pie Jacker, uh, one who steals pies, uh, having you know being the very clear standouts um, for their teams. Does SMW have have players like that? Definitely the players you're going to want to look out for most are definitely Banshee and Fabian. They're probably the two most experienced players on this roster and the two most skilled. Um, we obviously also have players like CPU who can do very well for himself. Uh, Overlord, who we didn't see play yesterday, but who is an ex-air uh, player, having come second place in the uh, VCL Season 1. That team disbanded after that season, and he, him now and going to SMW, so he's definitely a player to look out for. His uh, first official match with this team should be interesting to see how he does. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes um, for them. Uh, there's a cannon fodder, I think, is an okay player. Um, you know, it's hard to tell exactly who the great players are in these lower level teams because they're in they have a lot of inconsistent players. So from one game to another, they'll have different players who are you know feeling hot and having that really good game. Right. Uh, are we going to see? Uh, I know you said that Zab is typically going to be be in the picker role, which for those that don't know, that is that is kind of the sat back sniper role. Uh, not very often spending much time in the trenches. Is that what we can expect to see uh, from Zab today? Is that is that his usual role? Yeah, I definitely believe that's what we're going to see Zab because not only is Zab the best player on this team, he's also the team captain. So he's going to set up the team in a way where he can feel the most comfortable, and that's definitely going to be him in the picker role. Um, but probably also on, I think the second picker we'll be seeing from them will probably be Posh Brother. Though there are definitely a lot of players on this team who could take up that picker role. Certainly players like Tyler or Voltaire could take up that role as well. Um, it just kind of depends on what that team is feeling like. But it looks like we are about to just get live right into the match. Excellent.